Welcome to Coffee and Conversation. My name is Honorine, and today I'm with Kiriki Perkis, who is pursuing a master in social work, and she's also an active duty service member. Kiriki, thank you for being with me today, and welcome to Coffee and Conversation. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Let's start with a little introduction. Yes, of course. Okay, as said before, my name is Kiriki Perkis. I am originally from Atlanta, Georgia. I've been um, active duty Navy service member for almost 15 years now. It'll be 15 years in May. I'm a surface warfare officer by trade, but currently I'm the commanding officer of Navy Reserve Center in Des Moines, Iowa. Um, I am pursuing a clinical master of social work at Florida State University, and I'm happy to be here to talk about whatever you want us to talk about. Sweet. Um, let's start with why did you pick FSU over all the universities um, in the United States? So um, I, FSU is known for their, um, how much they, how much care they treat their veterans with. And I, it came down to two universities. I won't say the other one, but when I was speaking to the admissions office, at Florida State University, I remember explicitly stating that I was on active duty and, you know, it's in my heart to pursue this degree. And the admissions officer, she basically said, do not let anything get in the way of you pursuing what's in your heart. And I think that all of the administration at Florida State will make it work for you. And that is why I chose Florida State, because they were willing to not tell me no. <laughs> that's good and that's important. Have you been working with the Veteran Center? Or I mean, not working, but um, participating to their different events? So I actually go to Florida State University's online campus. So I'm not able to um, go to the events that they have in person, but I do read everything that they send me an email. And actually I'm a Focus Forward Fellow at Purdue University because of the Veterans Center at Florida State University. They're the ones who introduced me to that opportunity. Oh, nice. Um, and so how do you handle being an online student um, on top of being uh, an active uh, duty? You definitely have to be organized. <laughs> um, I, you know, come to work during the day. Um, if I have a lunch, break that's probably when I'm reading for class and then in the evenings that's when I spend most of my time doing my schoolwork and of course on the weekends is when I do most of my reading so just being very organized I have a calendar I have several calendars it's color-coded I have notebooks for different things so that's definitely how I stay on top of everything. Would you say that your military experience um taught you how to be organized and, and helped you in, in that process? Definitely think that the military is very time oriented and we need to be early and not on time. That means for school, I need to turn my assignments in early and not at the last minute. So I definitely think the military prepared me for um, making sure that I do everything in a timely manner. I read the, on your Grad Impact profile that you are interested in a doctoral program. Um, so let's talk more about your research and, um, and what you do as part of your master in social work. Sure. Um, so most recently, I had an internship here in Des Moines, Iowa, and it was at a domestic violence shelter. And so most of my research was surrounding um, the different clientele that we would get at the shelter and how we conducted case management and how different clients were able to um, receive therapeutic services at the domestic violence shelter. So um, with everything that I learned in my coursework prior to field, that was very helpful in being able to assist the clients and do my research and turn in all of my assignments during that time. And why do you want to pursue a, a PhD? I want to pursue a PhD because teaching is really at the core 
of everything that I do. I enjoy um, learning. I enjoy teaching. Um, I used to be a professor of naval science. So I used to teach naval science courses at Morehouse College in Atlanta, Georgia. And that was probably the best job that I've ever had, just teaching undergrad students and watching them learn and grow and then come back to me years later while they're in the profession uh, and telling me how much they use what they learned in class out in the world to help other people. So I want to pursue um, a PhD because I think that I want to help affect the next generation. I know that there are some uh, university um, specifically for um, like military school. Um, and then in order to be a teacher there or a professor, you have to be part of the military world. Um, would you be interested in teaching in those type of colleges or would you rather have more uh, like more like a general, I guess, college? I think I'm open to both. I never say no to anything. Of course, I'm more interested in advancing um, the communities that are less fortunate than us. So I don't know that I would be able to do that teaching at a military university, but I'm not opposed to doing that. Well, what would be the... Um... What makes you want to teach at a military university and versus, um, um, I don't know, I guess we call it a regular university? How, how <laughs> make the yes, so I would say like a military university, the appeal there is, um, I kind of already understand um, the things that sailors, soldiers are going through because I've been in the military as well or I'm in the military as well um so I kind of I I'm assuming teaching would come like the cases that we would use would more apply to people in the military because those are the clients that they're going to see once they get the degree whereas in the real world <laughs> so in the civilian world um I just I just think that you can learn so much like the experiences vast and very diverse and I would prefer to teach more to a more diverse community um, about different subjects instead of just focus in on one type of client mm, okay mm -hmm. um and so since you are on active duty um and you you still go on missions um, are mm -hmm. you still able to do your school work when you're there or you have to catch up and plan and then your professors are very understandable um, and work with you? So I haven't had a situation where, well, I have, I have been overseas and I just did my work ahead of time and turned it in on the due dates. You know, the, the global world is very advanced now. And so I'm able to get on Wi-Fi. That's the beauty of being in an, on an online campus is that I can do my work anywhere. So I've not had any hiccups. I try to just remember the time zone <laughs> that I'm in. <laughs> um, and besides school and work, um, what do you like to do on your spare time? So I'm actually a yoga instructor. I have not, not taught since I started school, but <laughs> I do enjoy going to yoga. I enjoy cooking and reading and watching TV and going to concerts with friends, traveling. For my last question, where do you see yourself in five years from today? So in five years from today, I'll almost be at retirement for the military unless they want to keep me in at that time. So I will be at a point in my career where I'm deciding if I want to continue to pursue naval service or to use the degrees that I'm getting at Florida State out in the civilian world. And so if I were to retire at that time, I definitely see myself in my PhD internships <laughs> and possibly practicing clinical social work um, in the evening. Um, and then if I'm still pursuing naval service, the, I would probably be finishing up PhD coursework while 
uh, still uh, doing clinical social work in the evening. So either way, I'm still able to balance it all. All right. Well, thank you so much uh, for this interview. It was it was great um, to get to know more about you and your world um, and and a little bit more about the military world. Thank you. I appreciate it. It was a definitely a joyful experience having this interview. Thank you.